Founded in 1991 by Dr. Lori Maka, the Cheetah Conservation Fund has housed close to 15,000 cheetahs. As cheetahs are wild animals, most of them were released to go back into the wild, hence the need to educate farmers not to kill the cheetahs. Because the cheetah is not an aggressive animal and you can actually live with it, like the use of our livestock guarding dogs, which we breed here and then we actually share them with the farming community. And right now we've got almost 200 dogs out working to help protect livestock. Um, and we've bred and placed um, over 800 dogs. So it's been a very big program. The guarding dogs mitigate any conflict between wildlife and the domesticated farm animals, preventing livestock losses. She says farmers should also think about the role they play in their livestock being attacked by the predators. Much of that really revolves around our own management strategies. Having calving seasons, calving corrals, having a herder or a livestock guarding dog with your small stock. Those are all very important parts of making sure that you're playing the role to protect your livestock. Because so often people think that cheetahs or other predators want to eat your livestock and they really don't. They really want to have an easy meal, but they would rather have wild prey that they're more evolved and adapted to. So ideally, if we protect our livestock and keep enough grass so that wildlife can live out there, predators can live with us in harmony. She was happy to share that due to the training the CCF is giving, most of the farmers have stopped killing cheetahs, which is good news as they are considered as endangered species. Dr. Maka says there are only about 7,100 cheetahs left in the world and Namibia is known as the cheetah capital as 50% of those cheetahs are found in Namibia. The Cheetah Conservation Fund currently has 27 cheetahs that were brought in as orphans and are permanent residents of the fund. Eight cheetahs will be released back into the wild into game-fenced reserves. Evelyn Polis, NBC News, Cheetah Conservation Fund.